Felix Dennis is one of the most successful publishers in the world, and he's also one of the richest. In fact, Forbes magazine estimates his net worth at $750 million. So how did he make all his money? Keep on watching because in this video I'm going to show you the animated summary of the book How to Get Rich by the Millionaire Himself, Felix Dennis. Welcome to the Peak Performance Channel, the place where you come to be inspired to create a more prosperous future. Felix Dennis is an English publishing magnate who has written a book on how to become rich. He excels at proving people wrong. He started as a college dropout with no family money, then he built a publishing empire, launched Maxim magazine, and became one of the wealthiest people in the United Kingdom. He accomplished all of this while having a lot of fun. How to Get Rich is unlike any other book because Dennis doesn't encourage you to buy snake oil, investment advice or motivational nonsense. He just wants to help people embrace entrepreneurship and share the lessons he learned the hard way. So, without further ado, let's jump into the first lesson. Harnessing the fear of failure. There are several reasons not to do something and many of them are convincing. Everywhere you go, there are people who appear to take strange joy in pointing out the obvious, that if a business startup doesn't succeed, it's a failure. Making decisions quickly whether they are right or wrong is better than taking a long time to debate everything. This is also true when you're debating with yourself. Worrying doesn't help anything and neither does not doing anything. You need to know the fear of failure is stopping you from doing something, but that's not enough because knowing is not doing. You need to have a strong mental armour. This will help you not get too upset when people criticise you or give you advice, especially if it's from someone you trust. You also need to be careful not to let the envy of others stop you from achieving your goals. People who want to get rich need to be willing to fail publicly and even catastrophically. If they cannot treat their quest as a game, they'll never be rich. Lesson number two, the search. What field to go into? Working for other people can make you not want to take risks. This is because you're used to getting a regular paycheck. But this can hold you back from becoming a financial winner. To be a financial winner, you need to be able to embrace risk. New or rapidly developing industries, whether glamorous or not, often provide more opportunities to get rich than established sectors. This is because there's more risk capital available. People are less knowledgeable about the industry and the tide is rising. In other words, the industry is growing. Investors are drawn to new industries where they hope to make a lot of money quickly. To get the money you need, you need to go where the investors are. By the time our biggest rivals were comfortable enough to launch against us, we'd already gotten too far ahead for them to catch up. New investors, ignorance and a rising tide helped us succeed. Opportunities to get rich are all around us. The more you look for them, the more chance you have of finding them. The more prepared you are, the better your chances of success will be. The more daring you are, the greater your chances of getting in on the ground floor and achieving success. The more self-confident you are, the better your aim and timing will be. And if you don't care what others think, you're more likely to take advantage of an opportunity when you see it. Lesson 3. The fallacy of the great idea. Now, If you want to get rich, watch your rivals closely and never be ashamed to copy their successful strategies. They may make fun of you a little, but that's a price worth paying. The problem with a great idea is that it can make you think too much about the idea itself. And unless the idea is put into practice in a good way with flair and uniqueness, then it doesn't matter how great the idea is, the business will fail. If you never have a great idea of your own but can successfully execute the great ideas of others, you can achieve success beyond your wildest dreams. Find great ideas to work on and make them happen. They don't have to be your ideas. Execution is everything in this regard. If you think of a great idea, it's unlikely that you will become rich from it. But other people might become rich from your idea because they can execute it better than you. Ideas don't make you rich. Rich people are those who can take their ideas and turn them into something real. 
Here's a quick reminder before we continue, make sure you smash that like button and hit the subscribe and notification button if you haven't already done so. That means that YouTube sends you more of these kinds of videos and it helps our channel as well. Now, let's get back to the video. Lesson 4. Obtaining Capital There are a lot of different types of people who can help you get money for your business. There are venture capitalists, major investors and bankers. But if it's possible, give me the fish over the sharks and dolphins every time. That means try to find people who will give you money without taking a lot of it away in return. It may take longer to find them, but you'll be far richer or at the very least happier in the long run. Lesson 5. The most common startup errors. There are some things you can do to improve cash flow in the early days of your business. Limit the payroll to an absolute minimum. Don't agree to long-term rent agreement and don't take up market office space. Never buy a business meal if the other side offers to. You should only pay yourself enough to afford food. Issuing company credit cards, cell phones or cars to employees can lead to problems. Talk to different suppliers and see who will give you the best deal. They want your business, so be ruthless in your negotiations. Only enter into a factoring deal if there's no other option. If you can, get out of the deal as quickly as possible. Lesson number six. Cardinal virtues. Stubbornness is not the same as persistence. Stubbornness means that you keep going even when it's clear that you shouldn't. A stubborn person is afraid to be shown the wrong. A persistent person is convinced they've been right all along and that proof lies just around the corner. With a little more effort, they'll find success. It's not dishonourable to quit. It's only dishonourable if you give up when you still have a chance to succeed. Without self-belief, nothing can be accomplished. With it, nothing is impossible. Doubt is a warning system and plays its part in reaching decisions. Lesson 7. A few words about luck. Listen to money experts and always invest in property with a good address if you can pay cash for it and won't need to sell it for a few years. Luck is what happens when you're ready for an opportunity. You have to be prepared and then take advantage of the opportunity when it comes. You also have to be aggressive and go after what you want in order to become rich. While luck may sometimes play a role in someone's ability to get ahead, it's ultimately the ability to identify opportunities and work hard to seize them that separates the successful from the unsuccessful. And that's it. I hope you learned a lot from this video and are now looking for ways to make your business more successful. Thank you for being all ears throughout the entire video. To create is effort, to copy is genius, Albert Einstein. And if you want to expand your income by building an online income, feel free to contact me so we'll get things moving right away. Remember, if you want to change your life, let's make a change together. You need to make a change.